Assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel today I am going to discuss with you regarding uh, uni class and omni class so recently I went for one interview and I got rejected because of uh, the uni class and omni class because before I don't know so I learned this about uh, uni class and uh, omni class so I thought if I post a video it will be helpful for other people so you cannot find too many videos related to this and there is some video it's not 100% uh, clear so in the revit there's a call one bim int operability operability tools it's a little difficult to uh, pronounce so this will not come with the revit you have to install separately so the installing process you can find in the YouTube how to install this one and it will be available only for uh, registered person meaning if you have a license revit you can install this one otherwise it is still a little difficult to install you have to uh, search for it in Google you will find some and you can install from there if you are using a crack version so here once you open any project so you will see here classification manager model checker so you can check one by one everything also this kobe extension so this kobe extension normally used in the lod 500 level of development normally i use lod 500 this Kobe extension so I will explain this one so first we have to go to setup so in the setup you will see uniclass 2015 database I have downloaded if you're not downloaded you can click this one and it will be downloaded so just click this one and just make finish so it will set up uh, the uniclass format so how we will know it is set up or not you will see one window will come uh, to set up the uni class so once you select something you see here there is nothing so setup is finished so when you go to this one and when you try to assign so this is now setting up okay and just close it uh, for now so when you click this one you go down uh, sorry in the edit type uh, you will see here the unit class ss number unit class ef number so unit class and uh, pr number so ss meaning system and ef meaning element and function and pr meaning product so how we will know this one so if you go to the google you just type this name uniclass.thenbs.com so you will find a list of coding like ac meaning activities ef meaning element functions so like that so fi means formal information is it is a scad and sl CO, SS, something like that. So, it may mean it's material. So, what is the use of this uni class? I will tell you. So, let's learn first how to assign this one. So, here I have one uh, observation here. So, I will go to the BIM in tool and I am going to assign. So if you want to assign Kobe, you also can assign this one. I will come to the come later or I will make another video. So let's go to the element. So here you will find EF element of function. So this is product and this is system. So if you go to the unit class uh, table product, you can type post basin WSH. So was uh, BA so you have some was based in support record was based in manual was based in spot 
so you have to check one of these so I will just go was based in um, I want to go pedestal was based so just click in assign so table proper uh, the uniclass table for product I assign the product is pedestal was based so if you go to the system I can go for the uh, waste so this one is waste foster waste water collection system we can put or um, yeah this is already waste water collection system yes so I can assign this one for the system so element is mechanical so it's mechanical above ground level so I will assign so once you finish assigning you can close it so if you go to the edit type you will see the classes are already assigned with the description okay so very simple you can assign this unit class like this there's no big deal so what will help this is the best thing why we need assign the unit class so this was basin can be named anything can be named like a cell engineering solution or can be named wash basin can be named like uh, anything like water bottle or can be named anything so when they are taking making a material takeoff or quantity takeoff for the total project uh, there will be a difficulty to collect the data something like was basin or any material or uh, elements if there is in something different name it's a uh, difficult to understand and uh, it will take time to each thing to identify so what they introduce they introduce some classes so example if you go to the google so this is the standard classes uh, coding and the classes so when they go to the when they are making a takeoff from this project example they will follow this code they will follow this code and they will understand this is what so no problem with the naming if you assign the classes because whoever using the unit class they will use the same code for the pedestal was basin they will use same code so it's clearly very fast they can understand so while they are taking the takeoff so if you go to the uh, view schedule so schedule and quantity let's go with the mechanical mechanical equipment or let's go with all multi category so you see here uniclass ef and PR SS are available so you can assign this one up to this okay then you can go for the family and type so we will go up and the rest of thing quantity take uh, total quantity you can you know that one how to take just for not wasting time I will just press okay so you will see this one is already here so what will happen through filtering or through other options you can count this one very fast so the thing is let's say this one in different name then how we will know from this because this class code number it's already mentioned there above ground drainage and uh, pedestal was basin and uh, wastewater 
कलेक्शन पाइपलाइन और मे बी आई एस पाइपलाइन सिस्टम सो इट्स वेरी फा ईजी टू मेक बी ओ क्यू थ्रू दिस इंफॉर्मेशन बिकॉज इट्स जनरल बिकॉज एवर यूज दिस यूनिट क्लास दे विल फॉलो दिस सेम सो नो प्रॉब्लम वट आर द नेम वट एवर नेम इज हियर सो इट्स वेरी ईजी टू मेक टेक ऑफ थ्रू दिस यूनिट क्लास सो इफ यू हैव ओनली कोडिंग नंबर यू कैन गो हियर यू सी यूनिट क्लास यूनिफाइड कंसेशन क्लैफिकेशन वॉट इज यूनिट क्लास सर्च द यूनिट क्लास टेबल सो लेट्स से वी हैव ओनली दिस कोड so we don't know this code stay for what we receive something excel file through a contractor or consultant anyone or be okay only this unit class number available no other detail so you can just copy this one so if you see this one you will know if you have experience uh, this one belongs to unit class so you just copy this one and go this to this page and paste here so i already pasted it and search then you will have the full detail okay so it's very easy to uh, work on it so there is a call omni class so what is, you have this uh, check this click this one so omni class you cannot give from here so even if you go to the edit type you will not see omni class i believe Ah, yeah, it is there. Omni class code. Okay, here also you can do something. Uh, this is sync and some code also you can take. It is the same function, but this Omni class is default in the Revit. So when you click this one and go to Edit Family, so here you will see Omni class. Just click this one. So here this plumbing fixtures. so it's a code number 2331 so you can check here uh, this code is okay 23 i think uh, somewhere inside it's a little difficult to find but anyhow it is inside this is 2345 2365 2370 but this is 23 31 that meaning it is related to mechanical equipment let's make all category so this is 2330 2331 it's not available it's not available maybe it will be inside somewhere okay so this one little difficult to find an omni class number maybe you have to assign uh okay we cannot find because maybe this uh, family i don't know from the internet maybe this one from the old version because this code number every time will be updated so if you check here uh, this this one is 2015 code number so if you check this download um, there is update 2024 so there is update see this one all update so that can be change uh, so normally if you work if you get the project uh, you have to check it it will be not big different but small small different will come either anyway have if you use unit class easy to find through the code even any month any uh, sorry any old version or latest version it can be give okay we get uh, the omni class inside that one you can assign also there uh, but uh, unique class is uh, different this one you have to go with this one so same time uh, when you click uh, when you select a more uh, one element so in the edit type you have this unique class code number but this one not mentioning which company 
and uh, which model number this one can be identify what is the system above the ground or the below the ground and this is pedestal was basin or other type and also the other things every things but what about which company which brand so this one all goes to uh, kobe here okay so here also set up project so here uh, we have Kobe extensions. Uh, it is US standard or UK standard. You can go with that one. Global unique identifier or Revit element ID. You know Revit element ID. The every element there is ID. So just save and close. So it is saving the item. So you will have one schedule here. So Kobe name created by creation type name space and you will see description serial number installation warranty and more more information so everything is uh, here available so here uh, in the extension here uh, you can do other thing also like uh, too many things you can import some uh, schedule everything you just uh, check one by one so because i don't want to explain everything so this is the thing so this is uniclass you have to do from here the kobe you have to do from here the kobe is uh, will have too many things and the uniclass will have some separate things so this both are different so uh, before I told you there is a manufacturer name, model number, everything because here is very less data available. So you go to edit in the field. So here you can see many things related to Kobe. Uh, like uh, this is the uh, finish, gauge, length, uh, manufacturer. See here there is the manufacturer, model number, model reference and uh, there is too many detail in the kobe uh, you can use it so they will have they can also uh, you can uh, import and export everything the system uh, from here you can export import and they uh, if you give it this file they can go with this uh, things so this one is also very important so keep in uh, remember this one uh, you should know mm, if you are working in uh, if you are going for the consultancy uh, company this one will be they are sure they will ask you uh, to make BOQ if you are going a contracting company they will sure ask about the Kobe system and some company they have separate people to do this one some company uh, they don't have so installing this beam in i don't want to read full so this tool installing this tool if you have a license revit you can install going uh, to the product update you can check in the youtube if you don't have a license if you are working on the crack version uh, there is a website I search for it. Uh, let's check this one. Uh, oh, sorry. And uh, this one bookmark, mm, other bookmark. This. This is a Chinese website. It's uh, not secured. Anyhow, check this one, uh, this address, and you just copy this one and paste it. You can download it uh, for your uh, PC through this version. Okay, you push the video and take this drive address and enter, and you will have this list, and you can download this uh, tool. So take the full advantage and until next video take care bye